Hello everyone, I hope uh, you can hear me well. So uh, yes, my name is Carmen Eckert. I am the coordinator of all the D groups we have uh, at the SDC. And uh, I will uh, do the presentation together with Carsten. Maybe you also want to say a few words about you. Hello, my name is Carsten. I'm sitting, sitting beside Carmen, and we have to unmute and mute our microphone. I hope you can understand me well. My, I'm working for Agridea. We are a resource center on agriculture and rural development in Switzerland, and currently advising SPC on questions about knowledge management. So um, you, you see already, we as SEC, as a government organization, we have a close collaboration with uh, external partners, but this will be uh, mentioned later more in detail. So how is D-Group used at SEC? We have uh, thematic networks. They are institutional networks here at SDC, and they use the e-group as a communication channel. Also, those networks, but also other groups, use the, the mailing list for the preparation of face-to-face -face events, mainly for the logistics, but also to discuss content that will be treated later in the, in the event, so to prepare also the content. Um, there are also thematic discussions that have nothing to do with a concrete event, but just um, a discussion to, to prepare a paper or to have an exchange about common practices. Also, we have uh, we use the groups for the communication between different networks. That means um, that, for example, two networks can, can have one common e-discussion or have an exchange on, on practices. And we have also all the network facilitators. That means all the persons that moderate discussions and um, all the network has, they have uh, their own e-group and they can have a peer exchange on facilitator. Um, um, we use D groups also to communicate institutional information. That means um, if, for example, the IT department or another important department for, of SEC has something to tell to, to networks, then they do it through, um, through D groups. And um, yes, that was mentioned before already, the discussion between two networks. So what are the trends and highlights uh, in using uh, D groups in the organization? One highlight um, is that D groups is really an established tool. So what was mentioned before, that it's um, really integrated uh, in, in the working process. And this is really a highlight for us. And also the, the satisfaction of the users is quite high, especially since the, the redesign. When uh, the old platform was in use, we had uh, some, some difficulties and um, some rather negative feedbacks, but since next D group is active, the satisfaction is really very good. Um, then what is also a highlight and maybe a trend uh, we see, in general the messages become shorter and more spontaneous. It's not this, um, yes, sort of, of uh, papers and very elaborated messages, but also work in progress. And um, also a trend is, well, we have this structured e-discussion as a main use case. It means uh, there is an input, then there is a certain series the discussion takes place, and at the end there is a summary of the discussion, so very, very structured. And um, now we are looking also for some complementary instruments, so to, to have a wider variety of uh, collaboration instruments, not only this structured e-discussions. And we are looking 
for um, for new methods, and maybe some of you can uh, give us some ideas also today. So what I would like to do now is to hand over to Carsten. He will present you the example of uh, his B group that he is administering, and tell you about uh, how he uh, is administering the group. Okay. I want to give you the example. Sorry, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry here before before you start, uh, I would have to ask again participants to mute uh, their mic because there is a bit of um, echo and background noise. So if you can just click on the mute button, um, that would be fantastic. Thanks, to, thanks, Carsten. Over to you. Okay, thank you very much. I want to give you one example of a um, quite well-functioning um, D group at FTC. As you might know, um, the FTC is consisting of um, thematic networks where the um, um, thematic uh, subject matter issues are not dealt only at headquarters. Um, such networks really are decentralized. The um, focal point and the core group might fit at head office, but the main parts of the networks really are decentralized in the field of the group. <clears throat> and uh, with the following slide, with the very nice statistics tool, there you can see a certain geographical distribution of members. Um, for sure, there is um, quite um, a lot of members sitting in Switzerland with all the many partner organizations. But there you can see the small dots, a lot of members of this network really sitting in the country offices. Uh, like the hotspots of beside UK, where the um, think tanks and the consultancies are sitting, we have um, really a lot of decentralized structures in the network. With the next slide, you can see more or less how such a thematic network is um, composed. You have a focus point, and uh, this focus point is um, um, supported by a core group. This core group can sit as well at head office or as well decentralized. And then you have the inner circle of the network participants. They are maybe SDC, System Development Corporation collaborators, or implementing partner um, collaborators. And then you have the outer networks with uh, local, regional, and international structures with organization, projects, and other networks. And for sure, this network has some partner networks, and this is more or less the architecture of what we at SDC meant by a thematic network. What is the purpose of the SDC Employment Income Network? It's, as already mentioned, it's an information channel, um, a thematic exchange and discussion, and um, quite often, and uh, the most purpose is in, organ uh, in organizing campaigns. We at the um, um, Development uh, Network or um, e group, we are organizing three or four times per year, three um, weeks or four weeks campaigns where we aim to discuss one specific um, topic. And as I said, the membership in the D group is much more than just the network, as I presented before. We are counting now more than 300 um, members and maybe 60 or 70, that means only one third, are SDC collaborators. The others are practitioners, academia, consultants, think tanks, and really people from other networks joining in because they see there is a good term on information flow. The goal of um, such discussions is really learning. We want to improve our activity by listening to others, by asking and answering questions, and very important, sharing of um, good practice. And maybe you um, listen carefully to Carmen. She mentioned that Next D group now is 
a secondary um, issue within SPC that was quite different before. And we think that Next Groups has improved a lot, calling Next Groups improved a lot, and it's really more than just a mailing list. It's so nice with the membership profile. Um, unfortunately, they are not very well filled in. Um, this um, requires really a campaign within the network that members really fill in their profiles. But um, it's so nice to see after the relaunch that those profiles are really um, um, written in more carefully by the members. Um, what we think is very useful is as well the archive of those discussions that you really can um, move them, that you can handle them much better. Um, the email list or the mail the mailing list function is really added on by the archive of the relevant documents um, sent by by discussion posts or also by the administrator in order to make a good and, and you go um, archive. Yes, and you are right, there's a problem with the search engine, but I hope um, that the Deep Foundation will remain creative as they have been in the last two. What's unique about our EMTI and from the new town network D group, it's really a mixture of internal persons with external persons. As I said, only one third of the members are within SPC. This is only possible because we are using a mailing list server outside the um, Swiss Federal Administration um, architecture of, of um, IT. Otherwise, it would be not as it is. Um, compared to other SDCD groups with 300 persons, more or less, we have a, a quite big number. When I listen carefully to Julian, with his uh, more than 1,000 uh, members, then we are rather small. But the most important thing is that the compliance by its members we really can count on very active members, and um, members really want to join the um, D group after they, for instance, move to another um, job um, because they really see that there's no retirement. What's as well quite ideal is the trust of the network focus point. The focus point is really um, letting the facilitators facilitate the discussion um, in order to that he is, can contribute as well to the discussion. This is I think from my perspective is unique that the uh, focal point, the so-called owner of the discussion group is really outsourcing this to the And for sure, we are very good team of online facilitators. Um, as I mentioned, this is outsourced to the next of the Monday. How is our group managed? There's D group flame saying non-moderated means um, um, it is by heart quite facilitated. It's not censored. We are really counting on the pure uh, emails by our members. We can do this because our um, um, results are quite good. Hopefully, we will not have to change this to moderate in order to more censor the uh, contribution of the members. Um, we are quite um, unsatisfied with um, translated things because we think that it's uh, better um, to open a new discussion group in a, a specific language than doing um, a translation of all the contributions by the members. And to answer the last question, that the discussion will work in relation with other online offline services, yes. Each of the thematic networks of SPC, they have a website called Shadow Sites, and the, our discussion synthesis paper, we are normally um, publishing after one of these discussions, 
we are not just um, uploading on the website of the ENI network. We are sharing this as well with other networks, uh, networks and outside the scene, for instance, with regards to the income to the M4P hub, making us uh, for the poor approach is a uh, very useful um, platform for master scenes. May I hand back to you? Yes, Carsten, thank you. So I would uh, like to end our presentation with um, some reflections and then, uh, uh, yes, take away message and some questions to you also. So um, when 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 we reflected where are the challenges we are we are having with, with D group, our our um, main points were regarding more organizational uh, topics. Of course, there is the, um, the thing with the search that doesn't work <laughs> really well, and also the statistics is not uh, is not quite uh, um, optimal. And also the overview of the um, of the blocked messages, for example, to have a, to have a box where you can see which were rejected, which none. So, so all these uh, functionalities that could be improved on the platform itself, they, they are also there for us. It's uh, an issue, but we have also other challenges. Um, one is the, the use of the profile. So we have those nice profiles, as uh, Carsten also said, for all the groups also that would like to use those profiles more intensively. But uh, how to um, to make the members fill in fill out their profile, or should the effort be taken to do it as an administrator? It is a lot of work to do, but it would be really good to have those profiles more uh, completed. Then uh, at SDC we have um, a rather strict IT environment. Uh, uh, in the in the main in the main quarter, but also in our cooperation offices. So it's always a challenge uh, to assure that D group is really functioning uh, well and that the messages are arriving and they're not blocked because these things they are spam. Um, and then, yes, in the future, there are some changes planned in our IT environment. That means we will have a, a new collaboration platform. And this collaboration platform will have also mailing list functionalities. So uh, it, is, it is a bit the question, how uh, should we continue to use eGrow? Because it also has its, uh, its um, advantages. And this is uh, still an open question at, at SDC. I don't know if others of you maybe have similar uh, situations. Um, then also, since C groups is an external tool, this goes together with the high security levels we have. It's always a bit of bargaining um, to, to build trust in our IT department and uh, Yes, to, to accept it really as a, an established instrument. Yes, the changes I was uh, mentioning before and jumping a little bit, we want to yes build a new e-collaboration platform and the trend is to have uh, one platform that um, includes different um, collaboration functionalities. Um, mailing list, but also discussion forum and other things. So to centralize it a little bit, it's similar to what what um, was mentioned in the presentation of FO before. People want to have all in one place, like in Yammer or in Facebook. And we have a bit the same here at SDC. Then the takeaway message for us: it's really important that the usability for the organizers is is. Um, so good because it is uh, it is an incentive to use this platform if you can explain it very quickly and people can start to work right away without uh, a big um, a big explanation and then the, the fact to have 
really dedicated resources for facilitation and that those resources are outsourced, they are not in SDC. It is, uh, the group gains very, gains very much um, with that. It, is, uh, it, it opens up the horizons, it brings new ideas in, it is a very fruitful exchange and uh, it is important to have people that really have the time to facilitate. And then we have two questions for you. So, what, uh, how do you use um, uh, the groups and especially the, the profiles and the online, online platform um, and the archives, the, the library, the vista? Do you have any experiences? How do you use it? And uh, yes, the, the website. So oh, that was it from our side. Thank you for listening. It was a bit longer than 15 minutes. <laughs>